How's it going, Dave from Comic Book Investments? So in this video, we're gonna look at five keys that are heating up, meaning they're going up in price. Some of them hitting all-time records, sometimes not so much, but at least they're going up, and I'll explain maybe is this just a blip out of the blue kind of thing, or is this an ongoing trend that I think is gonna continue and it still go up? So yeah, that's, I'll cover all that in this video. We got some pretty good stuff, like one of my all-time favorite Batman covers of all time is gonna be on this list. And if you like this kind of content, please hit the like and subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. So let's get right into the video. All right, first, one of my favorite Batman covers of all time, Detective Comics 31. Yes, such a great, cool cover. Uh, a 0 0.5 coverless copy sold uh, for 3,400 a couple years ago, now selling for 46.50, that is up 38%. A 1.0 is up 11% from 43,000 to 48,000. And a 2.0 just recently sold for $93,000 as up 244%. And the last one to sell in a 2.0 back in 2018 with $27,000. Man, such a cool book. I hope one day I can get this book. I have never owned it. Never have. I've had a Detective 28, 29, 30. Never had a 31. Um, I think I got the rest of them at some point here and there. I don't have them anymore. Um, but yes, but sadly I've never had 27 or 31. Um, uh, obviously 27 would be the best, but 31 would be very cool to have out of all the other ones other than 27. But yes, this is an old golden age key, super key, awesome key. If you have it, you're lucky to have it. I would hold on to it for dear life. Um, unless you want to sell it to me then I will gladly take it. But beyond that, uh, great book. This is gonna be one of those books that will always be going up over time. They're super rare. Anyone that has them doesn't let go of them. So it's not like they come up every, you know, all the time. I think there's the only one that really came up recently was this 2.0 recently. So golden age keys like this are great long-term. They don't really get affected by like recessions and all that kind of stuff because they're so rare. All right, moving on. We got Avengers 43, the first appearance of the Red Guardian. A 5.0 is up 31% from 147 to 192. A 6.5 is up 35% from 170 to 229. And an 8.5 is up 38% from 326 to 450. So the reason why this is heating up because the Red Guardian was in The Black Widow played by David Arbor, I think his name is. Uh, he was Hellboy. He was also in Stranger Things, which I actually like Stranger Things. Um, now, he's going to be in the Thunderbolts, which is a movie I think it's going to be kind of Suicide Squad-esque. You know, take like villains and make them do good things. We'll see if they can pull this off. But in any case, yeah. Um, I think this is kind of a blip. It's kind of going up right now because the announcement and all that kind of stuff. Long term, it really depends because the Red Guardian was kind of like a nothing character. Let's be honest. It wasn't until, you know, Black Widow that we, it's like, oh, they're actually doing something kind of with him a little bit. Making, he's in another movie. He could be a standout character, kind of like uh, Peacemaker was. He ended up getting his own show. I mean, Peacemaker first appeared in, what do you know? I have it right here. That's random. Um, Five for fighting number 40. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> it just happened. I didn't plan this, I swear. I don't everything I do is off the cuff. So it's like that's kind of odd. It's just sitting right there. First appearance of Peacemaker. Now, if you went before um Peacemaker showed him Suicide Squad, uh, the movie number two, the book was worthless. I mean, not worthless, but not worth barely anything. And then he appears in Suicide Squad 2, shoots this book up, but then he has his own TV show, which actually does really well, and they're making a season two, and that makes this book worth even more and more and more. That's how characters, comic books, go up in value. You need to have not just movies or TV shows. You need to have them in the zeitgeist, in, like, in the people's mind, just constantly you know, like Spider-Man, this is everywhere. That's how stuff like that happens. So this is a good first step forward, but it could just be kind of the end after this. All right, so Doctor Strange number one is up, eight fives up 33% from 240 to 320. Uh, nine six up 70% from 
657 to 1122, and a 9.8 is up 25% from 2100 to 2625. This is not an all time high, but I've noticed a lot of them going up. Um, there could be a number of reasons, but I mean, if I would do, I think this is a good key. I think it's a good key if you're collecting Doctor Strange. Obviously, you want an older Strange Tales like 110 or um, even Doctor Strange 169. This is still an okay, like tier wise, this is probably like third or fourth tier uh, for Doctor Strange, but at least it's still a number one. Do I think this will continue going up? I think it's just gonna be a lot of this. You know, yay, it did really well this month. You know, next month I could do go down kind of thing. Next, we got My Greatest Adventure 80. This is the first appearance of Doom Patrol. A 6.0 is up 18% from 765 to 900. A 6.5 is up 11% from 1200 to 1300. An 8.0 is up 20% from 2400 to 2880. Now, they're doing a season three. I, I think it's season three of Doom Patrol. I kind of watched most of season one, but I don't know. I just kind of got over it. It wasn't really for me. I don't know. It wasn't. I didn't find it all that interesting, at least enough for me to continue watching it. But I know they're on a season three. I think it is now. Uh, which I'm surprised. So obviously it has an audience and they like it enough for them to continue on making more seasons of this. But it's Doom Patrol. I mean, I think this is a good book long term. Um, do I think right now, I think it's just a blip as term in the short term. I think this is a blip. I think it will go down for a while and it'll probably go up again, down kind of thing. All right, last on the list is Thor 126. A 5.5 five is up 16% from 200 to 250. Uh, 7.5 is up 11% from 400 to 440. And an 8.5 is up 51% from 528 to 799. Now, Hercules is going to be in, I don't know, the next Thor movie or the next something with Thor in it. So... That's why this book has kind of popped off a little bit. He actually first appeared in Journey of Mysteries Annual Number 1. So that's kind of, if you're doing Hercules, that's what we want. This is a great cover, though. Um, it also is the start of a solo Thor run. So it goes 126, but the reason why is because Thor was originally in Journey of Mystery 83 up to 125, and then they're like, hey, this Thor character is pretty popular. Maybe we should give him his own comic book. So then he just went over Thor 126, so he never had number one up to 125. He was in Journey of the Mystery before that. That's what they kind of did. They did the same thing with Captain America starting at number 100 because Tales of Suspense ended at 99. And the same with Hulk starting at 102 because Tales of Astonish ended at 101. And Hulk was the main character in Tales of Astonish, along with Submariner, and then earlier was Giant Size. I think this is a great book, long-term. I think it's yeah, a great book. I think, I mean, there's some areas of this in the grade range going up and then there's some going down. I just think it's going to be one of these things. I think it will probably more trend down a little more because Thor came out and the Hercules boom kind of happened a little bit ago. And now it's kind of like a cooling off, so to speak. Um, that will be it for this video, but this video is also sponsored by The Night Library. I did a video on them before. These are a group of guys named Daniel and David. They are basically making their own platform for writers, artists, things like that. Right now they have three comic books up you can read for free, and they have a Kickstarter. So if you wanna get their first book, uh, you know, hardcover, I think it's called The Red Hunt Number One, check out their Kickstarter. That'll be it. Have a great weekend.